plagiarism is receiving considerable attention in schools and the media. Many of the most notable authorities on plagiarism believe that this cheating begins in high school, where many students are taught to copy from a book. While in school, teachers may ask students to write reports that require the replication of information found in textbooks and encyclopedias. Some schools pay large fees to subscribe to plagiarism checking websites like Turnitin. Other schools who cannot afford to pay for such a service use free online plagiarism checkers, such as Grammarly, PlagScan, Plagiarisma, and Paper Raider. These free plagiarism checkers are helping people check for plagiarism so that everyone can avoid dishonesty in their lives. So you're asking, how does this work? The first thing you do is copy whatever the paragraph, passage, whatever you're questioning, and then go to one of those sites. This one is PlagScan. Click on Try It Now. You can upload your document or you can, as we've copied, we'll paste it right there. Click on Start Analysis. And it will give you the percentage that has been checked. It will start to show some of the articles that it's checking. And it doesn't take that long. However, if you have a large document, it might take more time than this is at this point right now, it's almost done. Okay, so you can see that um, right here it has the Finair article. There's five matches, which means that was plagiarized. Um, the one about Germany was plagiarized. They show you several different places where that was listed. CNN article, that was plagiarized. And they keep showing how many different articles from different places where this could have been taken. It is up to 97%. And if I <laughs> move the screen, you can see that there's another one that's been plagiarized. So from that little bit that I pasted in there, it shows that there were 113 LA Times articles that it, it's a, pulled up. All of these different sources, it shows that, well, let's face it, with all of that, those matches, it says 26 hits. Um, so if I want to find out more about it, I can click on these and find out exactly what the article says and where the student took the information from, but this can show you that, yes, that article was almost entirely plagiarized. So this is one way for teachers to check their students. It's also a way for students to check themselves before they turn in anything to their teachers in order to avoid plagiarism. So I hope this has been helpful and happy scanning.